me, Victoria. What happened? Did you say Socrates? Socrates is poison? Lovely. Lovely? Your brother is dying and this is lovely? What? No. But if this is a byproduct of something created by Socrates, then I can fix it. Socrates, according to Plato's Phaedo, was sentenced to death by the Athenian hegemony. This is true. However, Plato left out two key aspects of Socrates' death. The first was that the poison given to Socrates was not in fact hemlock, but a poison of Socrates' own design. And the second was that Hippocrates, a Greek doctor, was there to analyze Socrates' death. Hippocrates would have written everything down in here, including the antidote. It's just basic Greek. He'll be fine. Might take a few days for him to fully recover, but he'll be fine. Where's Restatello's book? Here. Thanks. Edwin must have put the poison on the pages, so when it was flipped open, Wesley or you would breathe the poison in. Bloody devilish. <laughs> yeah, bloody devilish. See that, right? Yes. Good. I need to know I had it been dead, so. The books. They themselves are artifacts. Extraordinarily minor artifacts. But artifacts all the same. What's this? It's written by Marco Polo. But in another language? Italian. I can translate this. Now not only do they have Polo's book, but Rusticello's as well. And undoubtedly by now, Victoria will have found a cure to Socrates' poison. I scarcely even have my name now, and soon that will mean nothing more than dirt. Polo and his secrets were my final chance to reclaim my dignity, snatched away by a stubborn American girl and a glorified grave robber. If only I could accomplish near the same as they. I could use the earth's maze to sneak into Coynton Manor and swipe the books nearly on him. What if I could? My 
son. I would wish you well if I did not already know you were far from it. If you were expecting this letter to be an apology, you would be gravely mistaken. I would never apologize to a filthy wayward wretch such as yourself. You, your condition, and this life you lead are all a disgrace to the esteemed Grey family name. You will never again receive even another cup of coin from this family. All I give you will be this compass, used by Ferdinand Magellan himself. May it guide you in a direction that would begin to set right your life. Your father, Richard Gray. Magellan's compass. Thank you, Father. You're awake! I feel like I've been smushed by an elephant. Every muscle in my body is tight and sore. Wesley, I, I have wanted to ask you, I mean, I have, but a few days ago, after we found Marco's grave, I overheard you and Edward. He said I would become a victim what does he mean? Where would I even start? I always found the beginning to be good. Right. We weren't always like this. Enemies. We were friends once. Best friends. Our fathers were both collectors of artifacts, so we worked together to find them. We were on the hunt for a crystal known as the Gem of Wolves. And our biggest clue was a letter left by its ancient owner. Despite Victoria being the better translator, I chose to translate it. It was easy. Normally Victoria would check my work. This time she did not. The letter's trail led to a small beach on the edge of Germany. The Earth's maze was non-functional, so we would have to sail. However, I couldn't be away that long, as my father needed my help, so Edward and Victoria left. Several days later, only Victoria had returned. I had mistranslated. I had told Edward that the artifact would be safe to touch. It was not. According to Victoria, he had turned into a, a werewolf, no more beast than man. After that, Victoria had stopped retrieving artifacts with me, preferring to stay home. She doesn't admit it, but she had blamed herself for what had happened. What about Edward? Can't we help him? Cure him from his werewolfiness? We tried for a time, but he wouldn't accept our help. He blamed me and wouldn't get near Victoria, probably scared he would hurt her. There was nothing we could do. To this day, I regret translating that letter. Friend. 
Hello. Victoria. How are you here? I had a little help from Ferdinand Magellan. At one point, he used the Earth's maze. He designed a way to remotely activate it. His compass. I've missed you. I never wanted to leave you. Such a shame, your brother's an ignorant fool. Give me the book, Victoria. And this, I believe, belongs to me. Come with me, my love. Help me find Polo's artifact. It's the key to my freedom. No. I've always loved you, Victoria. When I'm free from my chains, I will be back. Whatever Edward's doing, I want no part of it. I just want to find this artifact and leave that monster alone. Edward is real persistent. Someone must be willing to pay a lot of money for Marco's artifact. Wouldn't surprise me. To control someone's mind could prove to be devastating. Invading armies could enslave entire nations' mind. Far easier than guns and swords. Thank you, Wesley. Thank you for taking me in after my family. The books, they're gone. Edward has the Magellan's compass. He was able to just swoop in and take them. Are you hurt? He would never hurt me. Not intentionally. What about Marco's letter? Did he take that too? What letter? This letter. Then we still have a chance to get there before Edward. Mm -hmm.